Hi, um, today I'm presenting you uh, FHEVM. This is a project we are working on uh, at Zama. So Zama basically is a company working on um, homomorphic uh, encryption. So homomorphic encryption, to summarize it, is the possibility to compute over encrypted data. So FHEVM is one project uh, dedicated to integrate uh, homomorphic encryption and computation over encrypted data uh, directly in uh, an EVM. So uh, today I'll uh, show you uh, an example, like a classic ERC-20 contract. Um, so basically to use uh, uh, what we, we've done, basically you need to import like a, a library available on NPM. Uh, the, the idea around the FHEVM is that we uh, added some pre-compiled uh, contract to compute over uh, encrypted data. So if you take a look at our contract, we have like the total supply, which is not like a classic uint 256, but non-encrypted uint 32. And it's the same for the balances, because the idea is that all balances of every user are encrypted. But still, if it's encrypted, we can still do transfer, mint, and etc. So this is like a classic RC20, like the few differences we'll see is basically like the the way we mint, for example. So if you mint an amount of token, the user will send an encrypted amount. So this is an amount encrypted with a FHE key. We need to validate uh, this amount. So to validate this amount, we'll check the zero knowledge proof that it's a valid ciphertext. And then when we validated the amount, we get like an encrypted uh, uint and we can add it directly to the balance of the contract owner and also, of course, to the total supply. If we take a look at the transfer method, uh, and you'll see that it's really similar of what you would do for a normal contract. So if you want to transfer uh, some token, uh, you, will, you will send an encrypted amount uh, to someone so first you need to check that the user has enough token to transfer. So this is like a require, but at this point, you need, you need to do uh, some decryption because if you want to check uh, the amount uh, regarding the balances of the sender, you will get an encrypted Boolean. So this is encrypted. You don't know if the user has uh, enough token. So you need to do a decryption. So at this point, we will do one decryption. So if we decrypt something, we are leaking some information, but the only information we are leaking is uh, this user has uh, this encrypted amount on this encrypted balance. So basically, we don't link much information, but in other cases, it would be a, it may it could be a problem. So this is the require, and then you see the balance is like what you you've done, uh, like what you would done with a, a classic transfer. So you're just adding and um, removing a month from the, the balances. <clears throat> um, the, we, we can do that because we are using the Solidity uh, 0819, which uh, allow uh, operator overloading. Uh, behind the scene, uh, this sign is uh, interpreted with a pre-compiled function doing uh, homomorphic uh, computation. So uh, this is like, it's it looks like classic computation, but uh, it's really like a homomorphic encryption uh, behind the scene. So we can test it. So this is like a classic remix instance because we don't change the compiler. Like it's a classic Solidity compiler. So you can compile your contract. There is nothing uh, new because like when you are using TFHE library, basically we just call pre-compile. So the only need is you need to deploy it on an EVM with this pre-compile. So you need to deploy this on uh, FHEVM basically. So <clears throat> we'll switch to a MetaMask account, which is connected to the, our DevNet with uh, FHEVM. And we can uh, deploy uh, our contract. So when the contract is deployed, the first thing we want to do is to mint uh, the contract. So we, we are using a specific version of uh, Remix Basically, it's exactly the same as Remix, but we have did like a, a small tool to encrypt uh, data uh, on the fly. So for, for example, I want to encrypt uh, 1,000 
uh, token. So I will just tip 1000, but in fact, it will uh, create the cipher text uh, with the proof uh, in Remix directly. So I can make a transaction. So I asked to, uh, I sent to the EVM, basically I want to, to mint an encrypted amount. So no one knows how many token I, uh, I asked uh, to, to encrypt. And if you look at the, the transaction hash, so this is my mint transaction. And as you can see, like uh, the input is fully encrypted. Like there is no 1000 appear, appearing anywhere. And um, so next step is to check the balance of the owner. So uh, if you want to check the balance of your owner, you want to be sure that you are exposing the balance of someone. Uh, because like if you are doing a, a call, this is not uh, authenticated. Like you can ask any balance and pretend to be anyone. So to, to do that, we are using uh, EIP 712 token. So the idea is uh, when uh, as a user, you want to, to allow a DAP to access some information, you will sign a public key and you will send this public key to the function. And then we have a, a method called reencrypt. You will send the cipher text and the public key, and we will do a reencryption because the, the whole EVM using the same FHE key. So you will do a reencryption with the user key. So to be sure that it's a valid user key, you, the user need to sign it. So for example, I will use the balance of. So we added a public key a signing. So I the DAP asked me to sign the public key. I allow the signature. So now I can call with my public key and the signature of the public key. So the contract knows that I'm really the message sender and it allows me to uh, re-encrypt my balance. So it would be the same for the transfer. So if I want to transfer some token to a second account, Basically, it will be the same. Let's say I send 200 and transact and confirm. So did I switch back? No, okay. I didn't switch back. So, okay. Yeah, okay. I didn't switch. Let me do it again. Okay, I need to remix to, okay. And now I have 800 token on the Alice account because I transferred 200. So that's all. I think it's, uh, if you want to try uh, try this, this is already available in uh, OODevNet. We just uh, announced our alpha version of FHEVM. Uh, this is available on uh, on Zama, Zama FHEVM. You have a, can tip quickly the, the link. It's uh, you have all documentation there. On FHEVM, you have all documentation and you can al already play uh, with FHEVM and uh, try to to build smart contract with uh, encryption, encryption uh, including. And uh, that's all.